Outside Bethlehem's hospital earlier this month, Ismail Hawaja sat sick with grief. The Israelis had killed his wife, Huda, he told CBC, with an explosion at their home. As is often the case, his story of abuse by soldiers couldn't be verified. The army had nothing to say, and what was happening inside the refugee camp was off limits to foreign reporters. But not to the Israeli media. An Israeli camera went right along with the soldiers, right into the briefings, and right into the Hawaja home. The army blew off the door, and inside found Huda Hawaja mortally wounded on the floor. Ismail Hawaja clearly thought at that point his wife would live. He begged the army to let an ambulance through. There were delays. The camera captured the terror of the woman's young daughter and her brother's attempt to stop her from showing the soldiers her fear. After the mother was finally taken out, one of the soldiers spoke to the news crew. I don't know what we're doing here, he said. Purification, maybe. It's dirty here. I don't know why a good Hebrew boy should be here so far from his home. Another soldier said he approved of the operation and that it really wasn't so bad. The soldiers then tore the house apart, evidently looking for weapons. In another scene, a girl begged soldiers not to demolish her home's wall, but in vain. Soldiers commonly smash walls to get into adjacent houses. This tape was actually not supposed to be aired. The arrangement is this. All three networks here agree that if the army doesn't like what's filmed, the footage is never broadcast. In this case, the army decided this tape was too embarrassing, too damaging, so it ordered it shelved. But this past weekend, Israel's Channel 2 decided to break the embargo. And the army and the government and a lot of viewers did not like what they saw. So, on, on the one this side, Israeli yeah, official, it, it, who strongly it, it, condemns Palestinian censorship, uh, had this to say. I would have expected, you know, a little bit more, I would call it uh, self-censorship on the part of the Israeli media. Israel's second biggest newspaper splashed it all over page one today under the headline, Gaff. The army, after trying to suppress distribution of the pictures, expressed contrition for its soldiers' actions. Our action uh, is so difficult to be, to, to be done that uh, it's, I would say, to the extremities of uh, acceptance. And regarding the delay in evacuating Huda Hawaja, the army said this. It's a mistake. Neil MacDonald, CBC News, Jerusalem.